Welcome back to the Heads Up Show, and this is episode 86 of We Want to See Your Helmets. And I really do want to see your helmets. I'm gonna try to do more of these. I know you guys are asking. I'm sorry, it's getting to be springtime. It's busy. Email the best pictures that you can of your helmets to pics at greengridiron.com or just tag us on your favorite source of social media. We will get to you at some point. I am gonna get right into this and start with Bennett F. So Bennett wrote, hello, here's a couple of pictures of Miami Hurricanes helmet I made a while ago. I wanted to do something I've never seen anyone do before. Oh boy, it took me over 15 hours to put all the jewels on there. Oh boy, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> wow, Bennett, this, is unbelievable actually oh and they put in a little video well you're right i've never seen anything like that what a way to start this show i promise you you will be on the thumbnail thank you so much man for sending that in what a great idea all right next up is carson l and they say hi i'm carson i play varsity football and this is my shut f7 that i purchased from green gridiron Thanks, man. I know it's basic, but I wanted to show it. That's all right, nothing wrong with the basic F7. Okay, so let's see. This, in fact, is a, looks like matte white F7, size large. The center stripe that comes to a point there, American flag on the back. I don't know what that decal is. It's a JP2, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. But that's cool, man. Thank you for your support with purchasing your helmet here. I love the Navy face mask and the Navy chin strap on that thing. Excellent. All right, next up is Charlie A. And he says, my name is Charlie A. This was my youth helmet in eighth grade. I put so many marks and chips in the helmet that my coach let me keep it. <laughs> that's perfect. I hope these can make it on the channel. I love what you guys do and I've ordered from you before. Well. Thanks so much, Charlie. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a Riddell Speed, looks like a Victor, with a lightweight face mask. The team you were on took their look from the Eagles, like a lot of teams do. And yeah, this helmet is beat to hell. Yeah, man, I actually wouldn't change anything with this. Keep this as a nice trophy helmet for yourself. A lot of memories in there. Good looking. Thank you so much, Charlie. All right, next up is Chris B. So Chris says, there seems to be a problem posting helmet pics on uh, Facebook and Instagram. It's currently under suspension um, and he's an avid builder and featured on YouTube. Uh, curious to see if you guys have experienced any issues with Meta. Yes, we have, it's terrible. It's horrendous on every level. We do it, we spend a lot of money with advertising. If we didn't have to, I would gladly dump it, but unfortunately, we have to. So, sorry that you're having problems. However, I'm glad that you were able to get these pictures to us. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the state, that's great. That helmet is sweet. I love that green color, the simplicity of the black, black buckles, black hardware. That looks beautiful. But let us talk about this mini Dolphins helmet all lit up in neon. This is pretty cool. Even those little pink semi-transparent visor face mask clips. That's, that's unbelievable, man. Su super cool, super cool. I'm such a fan of these little minis. We just got a whole bunch of mini visors in, so we might have a color that you like. So thank you so much, man. Next up is Griffin C. And here we go, we have an LA Rams helmet. This is hard to tell, but it looks like a mini, but man, that is really difficult. Yep, it sure is. He's got himself a little visor on there, held on with zip ties. He's got it laid out over there on that Rams hoodie. I'm a fan of that look, I, I love it. I know a lot of fans were upset when they changed, but I don't know, the blue and white's cool, the yellow and blue's cool. Their look is just great. Next up is Henry E. And he says, my name's Henry, I'm 12 years old and these are my helmets. On the field, I play tight end and linebacker. 
these pictures will show my white and black speed flex that I use in a day-to-day -day basis. All right, Henry, let's see what you got. All right, super, super cool. So let's start with the matte black youth large speed flex helmet. He's got the Oakley 24K visor on there, an SF2BD face mask, Under Armour visor clips, the Riddell hard cup, black face mask hardware would look amazing on this. And then the white one that looks like the Oakley, oh, is that Jade? It's hard to tell, white hard cup, white unbranded, under Armour clips, and again, imagine how cool white face mask hardware would look on this. I am a fan of both of these, but if I had to pick, I would go with the black one. Thank you, Henry. Next up is Jonathan. He says, I've been watching your channel for some time now and it gave me the helmet bug. I know, I get it. I built this Purdue Boilermakers concept helmet for my man cave. Hope you enjoy. Cool, love some concept helmets. Okay, you, you know, and this look isn't for everybody with that old fashioned nose bar happening in that face mask. But you know, there's nothing wrong with it. This is what was on the field for a long, long time. He's got a generic unbranded visor on there with the new Under Armour visor clips, white sports star chin strap. The face mask is dipped nice and clean, big 10 3D bumpers. Yeah, if it was mine, I would put white face mask hardware on this just to keep that black and white theme, but that is literally it. I wouldn't change anything else. Yeah, very good, man. I, uh, I love it. All right, next up is Keegan. All right, man. So Keegan only sent in two pictures. The one of them is, you know, it's okay. A little bit on a tilt, the lighting is tough. But the other one in that corner with that lighting all properly. He's got the helmets in the background. He's got a football, some trophy. It's super, super dramatic. Uh, yeah, man, very, very cool. Thanks for sending in. Send in more next time, send in more. Next up is Matt. He says, hey guys, this is my latest UCLA project honoring the switch to the Jordan brand with a custom visor, Rose Bowl 3D bump, and a Rose Bowl 3D bumper. Hope you enjoy. All right, Matt, let's see what we got. So, yep, he's got the Jumpman on there, that visor, Rose Bowl 3D bumper, that UCLA helmet in gold, large number eight on the back, Bruins back bumper decal. Dude, this is great. I mean, it, this, this helmet is beat up enough to where it looks like it kind of just came off the field, and I'm sure that's what you're going for. All right, next up is Michael R., and he says, hey guys, I love the show. I thought I'd share a couple 3D printed speed flexes to go along with my full size Eagle speed flex. I usually make pocket pro size helmets. So, okay, let's see what you got. More and more people are printing these things. It's just, we live in a cool time, don't we? All right, what I'm seeing here is an outstanding display of photography and helmets. He has these things lined up so well to where you can really get a scale that's a normal speed flex, then a mini speed flex, then a pocket. I can say I have never seen a mini speed flex Eagles helmet, especially when it looks this accurate. It's so good, it's so good. I gotta get somebody to make me a, a mini 3D printed speed flex. I'm hoping that Riddell comes out with the speed flex minis, but I think we're quite away from that. All right, next up is Simon. He says, hey guys, I got this digital 3D build for you. So here's another one. You've seen my crazier creations through Nate who brings them to life with 3D printing, Boba Fett, etc. Yep, I remember those. Here's more grounded one. All right, so here we go. Oh. My goodness, so this looks like a Vices Zero Two trench helmet that he 3D printed. Are you kidding me with this? The stuff that people do just amazes me. This is legit, like as legit as I've maybe ever seen. Hmm, man, 
Yeah, I, I might need to call upon you guys to make me something. And next up and last are just some social submissions. So let's get into Jaden R who hit us up on Twitter. Look at this guy. This young man is ready to go. He's got his silver speed flex looking like a Raider. He's got the front green gridiron 3D bumper on there. Dude, that is awesome. Then we have Kevin with this Garnet or Maroon Speed Flex. I'm really loving that side decals play off of a, I guess, a Native American head, skull with some, I don't even know, teeth and feathers and all sorts of creepiness, which that's cool. And then let's go to Rob Jones on Facebook who sent in quite a collection of the Broncos. So he's got everything from the bottom right with the flag to um, looks like a field hockey helmet. And then he's got basically every Bronco helmet that existed from the old crazy horse to the eclipse. He's got an amp. He's got a flash. Man, good Good stuff, dude. And that, my friends, is all we have time for. We will be doing more of these, so please send in your pictures and take the best photos you can to make sure you get on the show. And be patient. It might take a couple of weeks or a couple of months. Email your pictures to pics at greengridiron.com or tag us on your favorite source of social media, and we will try our best to get to them. And if you made it to the end of this, you're the best. Until next time. Cheers.